story. Yeah, it was not an inside information, sir, for your example. <laughs> 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 I did not know the management. Believe me, I am telling you, I did not. I never, I never meet management before I buy the shares. So there is a quote of mine that if you are smoking, you may die in 20, 30 years. But if you are trading, you may die next day. <laughs> there were 13 accounts on Telegram in my name with my photo with Vijay Kedia name and all. And they are <laughs> charging money from people and I am coming here for free. Maria, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> so, please don't go after any influencer. Nobody can, nobody can guarantee you money. Nobody can make money for you. You have to die to go to the heaven. It's very simple thing. <laughs> Good evening, friends. There are a lot of similarities between uh, Mr. Vijay Kedia and myself. Even though I am financially much very small person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually 10, uh, maybe 7, 8 years ago, he was like this and I was like him. I had hair, a lot of hair, yeah. <laughs> Both of us um, went to Mumbai in 1990, same year. I came from, I went from Cochin and he went from Calcutta. Well, it starts from K. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Kochi. K for Kochi. Yeah, K that time it was Kolkata. C, Kochin, yeah. yeah. But okay, it's great. That time also that was Calcutta, C. Yeah. Ah, that's <laughs> right. You are right. <laughs> um, again, he told he started with uh, zero. And in my case, there's some difference. I started with some negative, uh, you know, a net worth. Okay. Um, really happy to see now our MC was talking, you know, uh, the celebrities somebody who celebrates every moment of life. I think one person I can say, it's Mr. Vijay Kedia. <laughs> you know, bull market or bear market, Vijay is always smiling. So Vijay, I would like to know, you know, what is the secret behind this? You know, it's very difficult to see him uh, not smiling. Anytime, anywhere. I, we know each other for a very long time. So what is the secret behind, you know, always smiling and being happy and celebrating every moment of life uh, despite the kind of uh, maybe sometimes when the, during the bear market investors get a bit tensed. Uh, but I have always seen you smiling any kind of situations. So what is the secret behind this? There are two reasons. One, I have shared my, uh, I have already uh, shared my, uh, uh, what you call my share of tears in my childhood. So now no tears left in my eyes to, to be, you know. Uh, and second thing is this, that I have understood this game of stock market. The stock market is a place to regret. Every time regret will always be there. There is a quote of mine that regret is the, li regret is the lifestyle disease of investing. You buy the shares and share does not, uh, shares uh, does not go up, you will regret that why did I buy. You buy shares and share price goes up, you will regret that why did not I buy more. So, one kind of regret will always be there in your life. So, I remember one movie, that's Hindu movie I had seen in my childhood. And I remember the two lines of that uh, song. It's, it goes like this. Ki jo mil gaya, usi ko mukaddar samaj liya. Jo kho gaya, main usko bhula ta chala gaya. Main zindagi ka saath niba ta chala gaya. Har fikr ko dhuye mein uda ta chala gaya. So, this is what I've understood. Even if I cry or if I, uh, I, if I am sad, market price is not going to go up. Okay, then why should I cry? <laughs> then better to smile and live my life. Now the investing community, especially the old investors, we always say there are old investors, there are bold investors, but there are no old, bold investors. Means the old investors always feel a bit fearful looking at the valuations. India today is the most expensive stock market in terms of price earning multiples you take or the book value to the price, any kind of um, valuation metrics. It is very richly valued and most expensive market today in the whole world and still staying strong. So, uh, Mr. Vijay, investors, small investors or big investors, especially the old investors, they have uh, some kind of apprehension. Is, is, is there, there is going to be a crash? Is it a bubble? So, what is your reading about uh, the market situation, whether it's a good time still to invest or to still to hold on to the stocks, or is it a good time to buy, in general? You see, what I have understood stock market is very much related to the life. 
the way life teaches us if you will if you will keep our eyes and ear open life teaches us a lot of things similarly stock market also teaches us a lot of things from what we learn from our life i will give you one example whether india is expensive or not you just see we can get one uh, coffee maybe at 5 rupees on the road side if you are drinking coffee so maybe he must be selling the same nescafe only coffee maybe 5 or 10 rupees but if you go to a five star hotel the same coffee you will get 400 at 400 rupees similarly i think now india is migrating from hmt to titan to rolex the brand india earlier it was like hmt was the only company only uh, you know uh, watch making company in india which has closed down now that was all, all india so if you were going to if you are going to buy for example uh, a watch a titan watch like so you might get at 2000 rupees or 5000 rupees same quality of watch or maybe the same machine at least all the machines are made in switzerland most of the machines are made in switzerland if you buy a rolex then you have to you have to pay 10 lakhs rupees or 15 lakhs rupees and the watch will show you the same time okay there is no difference only the difference is the brand so now now india is becoming a brand for example you buy a purse nowadays you go to dubai dubai and you can buy a purse must be you must have bought for your wife also so one purse will come one ladies purse will come at 4 lakhs rupees 3 lakhs rupees same purse you can get in high design and all at 5000 rupees so what is this price for maybe you are not having a more than 500 rupees in the purse only only credit card is lying only debit card is lying maybe generally i am talking about so india is becoming a brand when when something something becomes a brand then you have to pay the a uh, price for the brand so this is what i feel that is why india looks expensive and mainly india looks exp- expensive to whom to the fence sitter who has who had missed the bus and sitting in the fence they find india that india is expensive ask them that when would you enter the market they will tell you maybe if market goes down 10% from here they will find india cheap so the difference is only 10% so that is not expensive that 10% in stock market is nothing in one day stock price can fall down 10% or 15% 20% percent also so i don't uh, and so far and you will not get a real answer to this because we are having 6000 stock listed in stock market you can't say that all the 6000 stocks are expensive okay so you have to find the pockets which are expensive if you find expensive don't invest in that still you will get lot of value in many sectors uh just another small thing you know in kerala i have a lot of people used to try to reach me out and you know to get investment advice or uh, some guidance in trading mostly it's coming for trading of course i'm not into trading one uh, one dangerous trend it's happening all over the country but in kerala in particular a lot of youngsters thousands of youngsters they are entering the stock market or trying to taste a bit of the stock market or investing but most of them are coming through yfendo the futures and options or options trading has become a very big uh, fancied uh, activity a lot of people you know after losing money by trading they start teaching how to trade so that is another major crisis i am seeing so a lot of uh, coaches are there for uh, options trading those people who have lost money by doing it themselves now they are making big money by training so this is something i don't know i don't understand but it's going on for a long time so many people when i ask them why you do this why don't you invest they always a lot of them feel you know they somebody say i have only 2 3 lakh rupees savings so kya invest karna is there is no much money to invest so i trade and make lot of money then i invest so this is a, a very common response from lot of people thousands of them so uh, what do you feel this newbies the new entrants into the stock market or investing world because they have most of them have very small capital to invest instead of investing they start trading and according to the sebi data as everybody knows it's 90% people are losing money so how do you find you know a solution for this an advice to the youngsters Uh, or the new people entering to the stock market so there is a quote of mine for you for every situation you will find my quotes in the stock market okay yeah. <laughs> so there is a quote of mine that if you are smoking you may die in 20 30 years but if you are trading you may die next day <laughs> so this is the quote you what happened you can see last month what happened 1500 points went uh, in one day in single day in 6 hours of trading 1500 sensex went down right and lo- lot of people must have lost their whatever they made in last two and to it uh, two years and two and a half years okay so remember this thing there are two ways you can i agree with you hello yeah 
so people ask generally the how do how do get the uh, uh, capital for investment so there are two ways that you can create initial capital for investments one thing is by trading suppose you have 200000 rupees 2 lakh of rupees you can try and you can trade when your two, two, uh, 2 lakhs rupees will become zero then you will listen to me that what is my second option so my second option is this either you trade and lose your capital and come to zero and second trade is a whatever money you are spending today on your daily life like suppose even a student is spending say 500 rupees uh, a month or 5000 rupees a month curtail your expenses 90 percent and if you are spending say 2000 rupees on you you just save 15 1500 out of that 2000 rupees and treat it as a capital okay so this is what either you uh, curtail your ex uh, expenses for at least two years that is like a tough that is like a sacrifice that you have to do otherwise you have no choice so because if everybody think that i can create capital out of uh, trading then chances are that your uh, that that capital will also become zero then what will you do no it's a very valid uh, advice so even somebody i feel you know somebody having 50000 rupees savings uh, some you know normal uh, middle class people some of the young people started earning money or salaries it makes sense to start investing even with 50000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees and I'll tell you one thing, I remember, as right, you said that uh, trading, SEBI find out when now, nowadays a lot of influencers are there. They are giving, advising, they're charging money. There, there were 13 accounts on Telegram in my name with my photo with Vijay Kedia name and all. And they're, they're charging money from people and I'm coming here for free. Maria, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> so, anyway, so they are charging money, you know. So, I just approached uh, one a lawyer so that uh, all the accounts were shut. Sebi found, Sebi caught uh, one fin influencer who collected 15 crore rupees as a fee. Just imagine what is happening in India. 15 crore rupees fee the guy collected from the people, for innocent people who were trying to try their luck into stock market and trying to make money out of trading and all. Sebi investigated 15 crore collected as a free, uh, as a fee. And when he scrutinized his own account, he had lost 7 crore rupees into future trading. <laughs> Just imagine, out of the fee collected, he was doing future trading and he lost 7 crores of rupees and he collected 15 crores of rupees from, uh, from innocent people. So this is, please don't go after any influencer. Nobody can, nobody can guarantee you money. Nobody can make money for you. You have to die to go to the heaven. It's very simple thing. <laughs> so friends, invest and nothing else. India's time has just started. The Amrutkal vision the coming two or three decades, it's, it's to make a lot of money and equity investing is going to be the best way to do that. There is no doubt. And you know, uh, I would like to, um, the audience, many of them wanted to ask questions to uh, Sri Vijay Kedia. So, uh, uh, Maria? So, uh, I think it's, uh, uh, let us open the forum to, for the audience to ask uh, any questions. Yeah. My question is, how do you sell a stock? Uh, like, uh, I am very curious about, are you selecting stock based on RSI, EMA or PE ratio? <laughs> or are you investing in that company, investing in that board, or investing in that founder who's on his vision? You know, what kind of, whether the ratios, or you yeah, are, let you me are tell betting, you. On the, betting on the promoter? Or yeah, the promoter company. is of course very important. You know, I had seen one uh, Hindi movie, a Kahani where Vidya Balan was the actress and she said that in life you need three things entertainment entertainment and entertainment So I learned from there and I applied into stock market Then you need three things in investing that is management management and management Okay, so that is the one very crucial factor But let me give you one example like we investors are like the passenger or like the people sitting in the car and this car is like a company and the driver is like the management and highway is like the economy Okay, so like every car, even is a, uh, whether it is an Alto or whether it is a Rolls Royce, ultimately both are going to take the same time to reach the two destinations. But so driver is very important. If the driver, if the driver of the Rolls Royce, like for a management, is not credible, so he can or she can meet with an accident. Okay, she can spoil your car. But even the driver who is who is very experienced and have a credible uh, track record uh, driving an auto or even a smaller car can take you to the uh, your destination safely so management is very important and as i said in my speech that stay invested in the sunrise sector 
I am always looking for the stack, uh, for the sunrise sector. I am always looking which story is going to play out in India or which story has just started. So when I invest at that point of time, most of the time I do not find ROC, ROE and all these parameters, financial parameters in order. The, they, the, all, all those things are very haphazard. So I just look at the company, whether the company has survived for 15, 20 years in the past or not. So I take a clue from there that what they did in the past when there was an economy upswing in India, at that time what did company did, how much did they grow, when there was a good time the company did well, better than it, its competitors or not, and when there was a bad times, they fell lesser than their competitors or not, that will give you a fair idea that how management is compatible or not. So I look out for the story which is turning around and that time all the parameters are not in order. So I don't care as long as the sector is growing. When the when we will buy a shares on a, on a turning around uh, uh, stage, that time parameters will, will not be that good. But growth will improve the parameters maybe going forward, maybe after one year or maybe after two years. This is what I have done in all my investments. Thank you, sir. More questions, please? Yeah. Sir, uh, so you, you have given a story of uh, Sarah, Sarah Sanitaries. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, can you just tell me uh, the story? How did you actually choose Sarah at that point in time? Where, you know, we cannot just predict 16,000 times and all after 10, 20 years. So, you might have thought something else than any other value investors. Yeah. What was the thought and story? Yeah, it was not an inside information, sir, for your example. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know the management. Believe me, I am telling you, I did not. I never, I never meet management before I buy the shares. You know, so I did not know the management and I will tell you uh, about this management thing also. Uh, that would be an addition. So there were only three companies into sanitary wear. One was, uh, one was Sera Sanitary Wear, another was EID Perry and third one was uh, Hindustan Sanitary Wear. So EID Perry had sold its uh, sanitary wear division to Roka. Okay. So then uh, there, there were only two listed companies that was uh, uh, Hindustan Sanitary Wear and Sera Sanitary Wear. Sarah Sanitary was the third uh, company in the in the list. So the bigger one was EID Perry or maybe Hindustan Sanitary Wear. So what happened, sir? When Hindustan this uh, uh, EID Perry sold its uh, division, Sanitary Wear division to Roka, they charged them two times then sales. The deal happened at two times sales. Like suppose for example, uh, uh, turnover was one thousand crore. So deal happened at two thousand crore. At the same time, Sarah valuation was half uh, its sales. Like suppose thousand crore was the sales then Sarah was available at 500 crore. So there was a very simple formula, sir. Investing is very simple, but it's not easy. You know, I had given one example that people like the, there is a Dettol and there is Savlon. Okay, both are curing your wound. So what happens? Market share of Dettol is 85% and market share of Savlon is 10% or maybe 80% and 15% and 5% some other products are there. So why Dettol is only, uh, Dettol is worldwide is 80% and Savlon is just uh, say 15%. Because when you apply Dettol on your body, it smells, it, but there is a bad smell and plus it stinks and it burns also. Whereas Savlon does not do, Savlon neither burns or not gives you a bad smell. So people have this uh, mentality, they think that which does not hurt me, how can it be curable? <laughs> okay, same thing happening in the stock market. Stories are so simple, sir, but nobody wants to buy a simple story because they think that you cannot make money in simple story. So this was a very simple story, a, a six class students could have understood. That is same company. Maybe there is some some gap. There is some valuation variation between uh, between the uh, due to the promoters and all. But Sarah promoters were equally uh, capable, having a good uh, track record only. And the peers company was sold four times than it their, their price, their existing price. So that was a no brainer for me. And after that, sir, it is luck. I always say there is 150 percent luck in the stock market, not 100 percent, because 50 percent what you do is stupidity in the stock market. Even that you are a little bit successful, so that credit uh, does you can't take that credit. So 150 percent. So that was the. Are you convinced, sir? Yes. And there was no inside information, sir. Believe me. Okay. Now I am coming to inside information. <laughs> no, listen, sir. Now coming to <laughs> your inside information. I bought Sarah in 2004 and 5 or something. In 2009 or maybe in 2010. A gentleman came to me, he was my broker and he told me that his relative is having a key post, I will not name, having a key post in Sera. That was in 2009 or 10 something, I do not remember the exact uh, year. He told me that uh, I want you to meet him. I said I bought shares in 2004, bhai. 
before meeting any any of the CFO, CTO, Chapra CEO, CMD, or Piyun, or Jamadar, or Watchman, I did not meet anybody. Why should I meet him? So he it was he was must be his close relative, but he wanted to oblige or whatever. No, no, please, for my sake, you just meet him once. I said, okay, I will meet him once. I met the guy, and I'll tell you, if anybody would have met the guy, he would have sold his shares. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm telling you, I was so he was I I I don't know somehow whatever happened. He was so he gave me some different picture about the company. That day I realized one thing, and I wrote a quote that management does not know what he can become. <laughs> management himself doesn't know what he can be he can become. And this I am talking about small and mid cap. I am not talking this about Mr. George. There are six George. I am not talking about them. <laughs> or I am not, not talking about TCS. Okay. But small small and mid cap management, they don't know how big they can become. Because India is becoming big. So that is the story of management, sir. That day I decided, earlier also I had decided that management don't know anything, what is going to happen. So I don't listen to them. Again, I would like to add something to this. Sarah Sanitary Wear. I was holding 5% of Sarah in our portfolio management in 2003 or 4, I know that time, uh, around 200 crores market cap. Because, you know, that over enthusiasm to connect with the management and to know things, you know, what's happening, to get a vision from the promoters, that made a mistake. I made the biggest blunder in my life. I talked to Vikram Sumani, who was, the, who was running the show, the promoter guy. So they were going aggressive in Kerala as a test market for the accelerated uh, marketing uh, systems and all. So I talked to him over phone. Then he told me he's coming to uh, Cochin, the bypass. There is a uh, studio is getting, uh, st Sarah studio is getting inaugurated and all. So we got friendly. Because of that, uh, getting friendly with him and you know listening to him what he was talking, he was talking some challenges, as uh, Vijay was putting it. So I got uh, biased. We, we sold the stock when it doubled in a short period after a few months. 5% of Sarah I have sold him. Maybe Vijay was not aware. So that 200 crores market cap, we might have sold around 400 or 500 crores market cap. Today, which is uh, 10,000 10, crores, around 10,000 crores market capitalization. So this happens. Sometimes, you know, today in, the, in an era where information is there everywhere, whatever happening in a company, even today evening, that is there in public domain. We have got fantastic stock market system, starting with the T plus one settlement. Nowhere in the world is above us in terms of uh, systems and process in the capital markets. We should be proud of that. This is another aspect. Why should we all invest in equities with whatever savings, small or big? Yeah. Yeah, so it, uh, one quick question, sir. Uh, when you're talking about a new investor, someone who wants to create a new portfolio, what will be your advice to them? And uh, one more question. Uh, you spoke about sunrise sector and sunset sector. In your view, what are the two sectors? Sunrise. I'll tell you, the first question was, what should I advise to the new investors? So let me tell you this, what I had concluded in my speech, that if you don't know how to drive a car, how would you drive a car? You should not drive a car because you will met with an accident. You will break the car as well as your own bones also. So very. My question is, so for someone who wants to, uh, wants to build a new portfolio, what would be your advice so, to build a new portfolio? Yeah, so I will tell you, so what I, uh, what I feel that any new investor should not try coming into the ma market directly. They should not drive the car. They should invest through mutual fund. They should invest, they should watch the activity of the mutual fund where they, they have invested for at least three, four, five years. Because you see, sir, it is not a one day cricket. You have to decide that what are you made, made up for? What have you cut out for? Are you here to play test match for five days or you are playing a 50-50 or you are playing a 20-20? If I am playing, Rahul Dravid was a champion into, uh, into five days match, but he cannot play 2020. Similarly, 2020 uh, uh, player cannot play a five days match because you need, uh, you need to have a, that kind of patience and temperament. So both temperaments are very different. So you have to decide. That is why there is a quote of mine, know yourself first before investing into the stock market. What is your characteristic? What is your nature? You know yourself first. So then after, so to, coming to your point, sir, to my advice to all the new investors are coming for the first time in the market is to invest in mutual fund. Read a lot about what is happening around the world in India. Watch the history, what had happened in India, when, when the economy boomed or whatever, all those things. That will take three, four, five years. Sir. After three, four, five years, you should, you should start investing on your own. Before that, it is, I, I sometimes feel that I should tell Sebi, 
not to allow any new, new investor come directly into the market. It is like after drinking, driving a car. It is not, you know, so you shouldn't do that. So this is my advice. And second thing was that, how do you find a Sendai sector? So sir, as I, as I said, that story is happening around you. When you are walking, walking on the road, when you are doing something, every story is happening in front of you. You should, you will have, you have to keep your mind, uh, ear open and your eyes, uh, eyes uh, open. I tell you, I bought one airlines uh, company shares in 2000, late 2022, just looking at the crowd at the airport. I bought Indigo. It is uh, Indigo Airlines, Innovation, uh, whatever the name is, Interglobe Avi Aviation, you know. So I'm, it's not a recommendation, just for reference purpose I'm saying, because I found in 2022 airports had become like Baska Adda, sir. Look at the crowd at the, uh, at the airport. Look at the crowd in the in the aer aeroplane, what is happening in the aeroplane. Earlier, earlier, sir, only suited booted people used to travel in aeroplane five, day, five years back or 10 years, or say 10 years, 15 years back. Only people, people used to dress up that they are going uh, into the plane. So they have to dress up like if you are going uh, to uh, in, a, in, in a rail, then you can wear a shorts also, sir, sleeper and short and banyan, everything was allowed. But you are going in the aeroplane that you have to, you know, uh, deck up or uh, many girls used to go to beauty parlor before flying, sir. <laughs> Indigo again, um, Mr. No, Vijay so is one, one of the minute. largest holding. No, one minute, got a very large holding. One minute, one minute. Yes, so I found that airports are full, airlines are full. I bought Indigo. After that, Go First, uh, Go Airways also busted. Spice it. Now, what is the situation in telecom, sir? There are only two and high, uh, high two and a half players left in telecom. At one point of time, there is more than fifteen players in telecom. Now there is only two and a half players. Same thing has happened into airlines, sir. There is only two and a half player. 65% market shares held by Indigo Airlines. And 25% or maybe by all Air India's three companies, Vistara, Air Asia, and Air India. And 5% uh, uh, Kasa and, and this and all. So sector has consolidated. You could, you could have seen from your own eyes that what is happening. You could have seen from your own eyes what is happening in data, sir. I, I was telling somebody uh, today morning, like earlier, we used to talk about roti, kapra, or makan. 50 years back, 20 years back. After 10 years before, if you go, then roti, kapra, makan, or, uh, or, and data. Without data, sir, everybody, all the girls, all the beautiful young men are on dieting, sir. You can stay without uh, roti. You can have two roti instead of four roti. You can wear four shirts, in, uh, 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 then uh, 10 shirts. But data you will need, sir, since get up in the morning, you need a data. Since uh, you are sleeping, you need a data. So now the economics are totally changed. Roti, kabra, makan, or data. You know, now I added one more thing. Roti, kabra, makan, data, and sip. So forget about it. Now coming to your point. So this story, you can look around you, what is happening around the world. This is how you get a story. This is how I, looking at only this data thing, sir, I bought one company, Tejas Network, in 2020 at 40 rupees. Today it is 800 rupees. 20 times in just three years' time. Only looking at the data, the two and a half players have been left and now they have started spending because there was too much of regulation. Government did not allow them to raise their R2, that monthly uh, rent and all. Government liberalized that because this company will shut down, then the entire country will shut down. Today, if Indico will shut down, entire country will shut down, sir. Entire economy will uh, start. So this is how, don't buy Indigo, I'm not selling that you have to, you, but this is how you should, yeah, <laughs> tomorrow I may sell also, but yeah, don't worry, <laughs> please be careful. This is how you have to find a, uh, find a story. Like as I said, SIP, 60,000 crores is nothing, sir. 5,000 crore daily it can come, you know. So you have to, the, so that means future for a broking company, AMC's company, asset management company, this mutual fund company are bright. So all this logic, you have to agree, just don't go on uh, what I'm saying. You just, you just think uh, yourself that is it going to happen or not? Then you will find story on your own. Sir. It has been very insightful and inspiring uh, speech and uh, you know conversation from Mr. Vijay. In fact, Vijay is en route becoming a billionaire, <laughs> and and you know as I told about the uh, Indian economy, every trillion dollar will be added faster and faster. Like uh, you know, every hundred millions. Uh, Every hundred million dollars will be added faster and faster in, his, and in the next few years. It's going to be a billionaire and I'm very happy about that. Uh, to conclude uh, maybe the session, I just would like to add something uh, for a minute. You know, value investing is all about vision, value and luck, the three aspects. This is uh, Mr. Chandragan Sambath, late Chandragan Sambath. 
He has been one of my mentors, and we used to be very closely interacting. Very shiny, also knows him. Um, you know, when we say vision, vision, the future trajectory of the business we are investing in, the future trajectory of the business that company's future, and that you have to assess and value that future trajectory of the business, how it relates to current price, from which you can derive the value or estimate the value. And then, however smart you are, you know, how much ever research, uh, research you do, there is a bit of luck also required to be, you know, to be really winning the game. So the vision, value, and luck, let it be with all of us and uh, invest and make lot, tons of money. Wish you all the best. And thank you, Vijay, for coming to Kerala. Uh, and uh, thank you so much from my side. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to these eminent investors, acclaimed investors. I would like to call upon Ms. Maria Abraham. Ma'am, kindly join us on stage and hand over the moment.